in Yaroslava. Uh, got it. Yes. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, today. Uh, this is a joint work with uh, Dima Talalayev, um, Vasily Grubunov, and Anton Kazakov. It's an archive um, like. Uh, something like this. So I'll follow with, with this paper. And uh, what's the today's plan? Uh, is follows. So first, I will describe the um, lamb embedding of electrical of, of the space of electrical networks to the. Lagrangian Grossmanians. Um, mm, embedding uh, of uh, at first, of course, uh, I'll define what is electrical network and, and all this stuff. Uh, Electrical networks uh, to the to the Grossmannian, be precise Grossmannian, and Lam uh, proved that uh, the electrical network defines not uh, defines a point of uh, non-negative Grossmannian, uh, and uh, then after this uh, Lam embedding, I'll formulate and maybe I, I'm not sure that uh, I have time to, to prove something but I formulate uh, our results about new embedding of, of the space of electrical networks to the Grassmannian and moreover to the Lagrangian Grassmannian uh, new embedding um, to the Grassmannian, uh, to the non-negative Grassmannian, totally negative Grassmannian, and moreover to the Lagrangian Grassmannian. So, of course, I, I, I'll define all, all this all this stuff later. Um, but the plan is follows. And uh, what's interesting here. Uh, that um, our our new embedding uh, sorry yes uh, so our new embedding defines the same point of uh, of the Grassmannian as as Lam embedding so it coincides with with Lam embedding but we uh, refine the the results of of Lam. Okay, uh, so this is the plan. Mm, let's start with the definition of, of, of electrical network. So, uh, for, for us, for, for me, for today, electrical network is, is just a graph, a simple, so electrical network. Electrical network. Uh, is a um, simple graph uh, so without uh, loops and without multiple edges uh, without loops and uh, multiple edges And such that that uh, some uh, subset of uh, vertices uh, called boundary vertices, and I'll describe it uh, like follows. So we have a boundary, which is uh, usually uh, I'll, I'll picture it as a circle, and we have some subsets of subset of vertices. Uh, which uh, line the boundary and 
some subset of vertices of, of inner vertices. So something like this. I don't know. So we have uh, boundary vertices. Boundary vertices and uh, these guys uh, inner vertices and uh, so to each uh, to each vertex we assign a positive uh, positive weights and positive weights weights on uh, in vertices positive weights in vertices yeah, maybe edges uh the um Oh, yes, yes, edges, edges, sorry. Uh, positive weights of edges, uh, and this is uh, conductivities of these edges, yeah, of course. Uh, and, uh, oops. Conductivities, so it's, uh, it is uh, one over resistances. uh so with so it's a simple graph and we call some of it vertices boundary vertices just by uh so some, some subset of vertices and with positive weights of uh, edges uh, and this uh, weights uh means conduct so if if we th think about it as uh, uh as about an electrical network these positive weights are conductivities and if we assign um, voltage to the out to the boundary vertices then uh, the current uh, current starts and this uh, so the so this this uh, conductivities uh, defines uh, the, the the amount of, of this current by the ohm low and so we have here ohm low ohm low and uh, Kirchhoff low um, I hope um, I'm sorry I'm not sure how to write uh, this name but uh, ohm low means that the uh, the current times resistance is a uh, voltage and the Kirchhoff low means that the the sum of input uh, current in each vertex is equal to the uh, output uh, current uh, so the sum of the sum of currents in each vertex uh, is equal to zero. Uh, okay, so this is for us. So it, it, we, we don't need this physical um, physical meaning today. What we need today is the simple graph with boundary with some subset of vertices called boundary vertices and positive weight weights uh, assigned to, to its edges. And um, okay, so if we have a, such a electrical network, uh, we can define the response matrix of this network. So response matrix. Um, let's x so 
uh, it counts uh, following if we uh, if we have a vector of voltages in each uh, boundary vertex yes then we uh, we will have a vector of currents uh, so in the boundary vertices so we have a matrix matrix like if we have n boundary vertices n boundary vertices then this x is n n by n matrix uh so which which maps the vector of um, uh, vector of voltages to the vector of um, currents and uh, it so it it could be computed this this matrix the response matrix could be computed uh using the sure the, the notion of sure complement uh but we don't need we don't need it today but it, it could be computed uh no not very not very hard um for example uh i would say if um, if all vertices are boundary vertices uh if all vertices uh, boundary then uh, then I think uh, this response matrix X is a Laplacian matrix of this graph so X is a uh, uh, so X okay x i j x i j is equal to weight weight of this uh of this edge i j if i uh not coincide with j and uh, minus some weights Wait, uh, if i is equal to j uh, so it's laplacian matrix in fact o of the graph uh, laplacian matrix okay so in this this response matrix what what is important for us the the response matrix is symmetric uh x uh, and the sum of of the elements in each row is equal to zero and each column so it's symmetric and the uh, sum of elements in each row colon uh, is zero so these two uh, properties are important for us uh, will will be important for us so this is a, an electrical network and uh, this is a response matrix uh, of an electrical network um, okay so um, the so to to say a few words about this uh, response matrix and uh, and the electrical network say a uh, few more words uh, I would say that uh, there is a notion of electrical equivalence of, of this so 
the notion of equivalence of these networks. Uh, more precise, uh, there is a theorem of uh, Curtis in, in, in German and Moral theorem. Curtis in German and Moral that uh, if uh, two electrical networks ha have the same response matrix, then they are electrically equivalent, uh, the, which means that these two networks are connected by the following, uh, by the one, two, three, four, some, some, uh, some um, um, relations. So two uh, electrical networks if two electrical networks have the same response matrix then the uh, electrically equivalent, uh, which means that uh, uh, one could be obtained from another by some sequence of, of mutations uh, as follows. Following following mutations that uh, this one. So this means that it's it, you may think about it as a like a um, like a network. If if we have if we have a network where we have a consequence of these two edges. Uh, in a line, then we we could we could get we we get one one edge with the weight a b over a plus b, uh, and if we have a uh, if we have a parallel guys, uh, then we obtain uh, the edge with weight a plus b. And uh, if if we have a uh, if we have a leaf uh, or uh, a loop, we just uh, can erase it, and uh, we have uh, this star triangle transformation. If we have A B C. Uh, we obtain ABC, yes, we obtain uh, ABC, and uh, A is equal to BC over B plus C, etc. B is equal to uh, A plus B plus C, sorry. Uh, B is equal AC over A plus B plus C, and C capital is equal to this guy. So uh, this notion of electrical equivalence is uh, also quite important for us, but I'm not sure that, that, that I have time to uh, to speak a lot about about this about how we will need it. But but this this is not not very simple problem to restore the electrical network by a response matrix. And this theorem is one. Uh, so it's about, about, it's about this, this problem. OK, so I think that's all about electrical networks and response matrices. Uh, and now the one construction. So now I uh, present the so 
I'll take an electrical network and obtain a point in the Grassmannian. So some uh, uh, some some coordinates. So, so uh, uh, I'll present some Fluker coordinate of this of this point of this graph. So to do this, I uh, I'll present some uh, um, sequence of combinatorial uh, combinatorial structures on this graph, which is obtain the n minus one by two n matrix, uh, which will be a Fluker coordinate of this of this point of this uh, graph. Uh, okay, so. Mm -hmm. uh, Lam's construction. A few so so now will be some combinatorial Internal construction on on the on our graph with boundary vertices and with um, positive weights on on edges. So the growth growth of if we have uh, this graph, we have a notion of growth. Buri, I'm sorry. Could you say some words about uh, the importance of this problem? Why it is interesting to construct an embedding of some con con configuration space to to the Lagrangian? To the, to the Lagrangian Grassmannian, uh, to the yes. positive Grassmannian. So, um, it's of course a, a very good and right question. So, uh, why? So, why it's interesting? Uh, at first, um, because of um, uh, so. Um, um, yeah, we. So here we obtain a like a point of uh, electrical networks uh, uh, defines a point of Lagrangian Grassmannian. So we assign some Lagrangian um, uh, Lagrangian plane in in two n minus two dimensional space. Um, in the other side, uh, there is a uh, results about uh, connection of easing model and orthogonal Grossmannian and um, so in like a very um, so very general very general we uh, so this is two sides of, of, of one coin this uh, embedding on, on electrical networks into Lagrangian Grossmannian and this um, Connection using model and orthogonal cross minor. Um, so you might think uh, this way about it. Uh, and, and on the other side, um, this uh, so this parameterization of uh, electrical networks uh, connected uh, to the some cluster algebra um, uh, stuff and cluster algebra structure. Uh, appears in this space of electrical networks and uh, arises a question about uh, Poisson structure on, on, on this on this space of, of such graphs. Um, so I would say this two reasons, for example. I have an idea. Um, did you heard about the relation of the uh, of the dimer model and uh, the unitary group? <laughs> Yes, yes. Is it related? Mm. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe. Uh, so, yeah. ask a little question. So, when you do these transformations in the Ethereum, the number of vertices change in the network, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, that, but, but if you, for instance, impose the conditions that you want to find the network with the minimum possible number of vertices, is it a doable problem? Uh, but the number of uh, boundary vertices Not stay boundary, the same. In vertices. Yeah, inner vertices. So we, yeah, we. So you see this response matrix. Uh, it's um, 
depends on the number of boundary vertices. So we do not. No, no, I, I ask that you change, you say that uh, the theorem shows that the, uh, you have many equivalent networks and all these equivalent networks can be obtained one from another by these transformations, right? Mm -hmm. Now, these transformations change the number of in the vertices. May change, yeah, yeah. yes, may change. So, you, if you set the problem, let us try to find the network which is equivalent uh, to our and has a minimum possible number of in the vertices. Is it uh, kind of uh, unique or not? So, uh, I would say that the uh, reasonable question, uh, which is uh, connected to 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 your question. As follows, there the, the exists a form of of a network which calls critical network, uh, which is uh, very convenient to, to prove to prove some some results. Some, some, I mean, some canonical network. Can we define a kind of canonical network? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So the, the we we want we want to define it. It, it calls critical network, and every network electrically electrically equivalent to the critical one and i'll i'll define the critical networks later and the this critical so critical networks not not those who has a, a minimal a minimal number of inner vertices but the, there are some some conditions and this so you're in general you're right there is a canonical form of electrical network which we like Um, okay, so more questions. Um, another question that when you when you give a definition of your graph, then you don't allow any loops or double uh, lines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then then you in this theorem you have loops and double lines. How it fits? Yeah, of course. So so it, it doesn't. So yeah. Uh, to to speak truth, it, it doesn't matter. So I I, I could have uh, these loops and multiple edges, but I, I can um, so I can erase it by by this uh, by this electrical equivalence. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So here, this condition is not so important. I mean that that you can think about it as a as a simple graph. Um, okay, so grow uh, is a, um, is a, um, um, is a forest um, such that such that in every component in in each component in each component um, there is a boundary vertex vertex in a boundary uh, a boundary a vertex so, uh, uh, I mean, if we have a like some, so sorry, this this outer this outer circle is not a, a, an edge, just a, like some boundary. So, and if we have a some network so uh, for example this so for example uh, this is a this is a forest so uh, it uh, 
it should it should contain all uh, forests such that it should it contains all vertices such that it contains all vertices and uh, in each component there is a boundary vertex so for example this is a forest and i don't know if we uh oh okay so this is a forest yes and um, to each uh to each grove grove we um, denote it by f uh, for each grove we uh, grove we assign a, a boundary partition sigma of f uh, is a boundary partition is a partition of the set partition partition of of the set from 1 to n uh, such that that each um, so all vertices from one uh, connected component of the forest uh, lies in in the one part of the partition so for example for, for for this for this network for this graph we have a partition two three one four so partition of uh, one etc n such that uh, all vertices uh, just vertices uh, from one connected component of F form uh, a part of a partition. So, for example, for, for this for this uh, electrical network. For this, uh, for this grow uh, f, we have uh, sigma of f is equal to one, two, uh, three, four. Let's no, doesn't matter. Something like this. Okay, so it's a partition of of the set of uh, from one to n, and. Uh, uh the next definition is a is a like mm, mm, the one more partition which calls uh how it calls um uh, it doesn't matter. So, uh, sigma mm, sigma uh, sigma tilde. Okay, sigma tilde of f is the following partition. Uh, so we assign the numbers with tildes between our our previous indexes here. So I'll I'll put I put one tilde here, two tilde here, three tilde here, and four uh, tilde uh, four tilde here, and um, uh, so this uh, so and you see this grove uh, we have this grove defined. Uh, parts of this uh, boundary circle and uh, the tilde indexes which is which are which lie in one part form a uh, form a part of this sigma tilde partition signal tilde so here 
say it's sigma uh, it's sigma tilde and uh, for for this example it's one three two and four and so uh, mm, the okay um the grove f like uh defines uh um partition partition of a boundary a boundary circle and this partition defines this partition of boundary boundary circle defines this this sigma tilde of f um like follows so this these guys uh, like 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 in this example yes uh, so uh, and uh, for for each for each uh, again electrical network we assign the following boundary uh, boundary weight Uh, following boundary weights so we sum overall groves uh, which has uh, uh, which has the, the part which have the partition which which have this this fixed partition sigma and we sum up the weights of these groves and the weight of a grove, uh, weight, weight of f, is just a product product of uh, weights of edges where edge in f. So this is a this is a boundary boundary. measurement so if we uh so you see um uh, if we have here we have some weights yes uh i don't know a b c d etc um, and the again the weight of a growth is just a product of all weight of edges which is which are in this growth so for example here we have uh, a b h e d f just a product and for different growths we uh, obtain different products and here we sum overall growths which have which um, uh, define the same partition as as this uh, partition in the index of, of this boundary measurement l uh, mm, for example no. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't matter by now. And this, so you see now by we start with an electrical network and we obtain some uh, some measurement, some some coordinate, some some uh, some measurement. This this L L sigma of gamma. Of gamma. Um, okay next uh, uh, so one word uh, like uh, about this l sigma and uh, our response matrix and the theorem again by lam uh, state that the elements in fact these elements of response matrix this x i j is equal to uh, to such uh, quotient so 
L и G. Uh, over L. So what does it mean? It means so this this I J star star etc means the partition where two points together I and J and all other points uh, separate. So all other parts contains uh, only one only one vertex and uh, two vertices i and j are in in one and the same part and this in the denominator uh, this partition uh, where all parts contains only one vertex yes so this is a, a partitions partitions and uh, in fact the these elements of response matrix so it's an element of response matrix so we just uh, um, so it's a theorem in brackets it, it would not need it but uh to i don't know to maybe i think it's interesting it's it's connected to the i would say to the matrix three theorem more or less it, it's more or less this uh, this statement about the quotient of, of minors of, of some matrices but nevertheless these boundary measurements uh good ones but is, if you start from a, a arbitrary network can you uh, uh, replace it equivalent by equivalent grow uh so uh, you mean about about this theorem no i mean the, not about this theorem I about uh, so you introduce the concept of grow yeah so this is a network which has you know these properties that every vertex uh, connected to the boundary right uh, and uh, uh, now uh, or the forest to the mm -hmm. forest uh, forest the question is if i have arbitrary network is it equivalent to a forest no no uh, oops sorry um uh, no 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 so we now we fix uh, a network and to each network we on each network there are many foresters so so sorry where there are many groves these groves so here for example i uh, i could take i don't know this this one no no that that is a partition i no, i i mean i mean i am not talking about partition i'm say i want to replace a network by uh, by a forest um so uh, i don't understand the question the question is so suppose you, we you can do it but so now now it's not that so we are interested in all so here you see we're interested in this uh l sigmas and but, when well, we are interested in this l sigmas uh we are interested in all in all groups on on a network on a graph on a fixed graph with some conditions with conditions uh, which um, defines by this uh, by this partition no i i want to understand what you're doing so i i you not what you don't want to consider uh, arbitrary network you just uh, restrict yourself with a particular type of network in which every uh, uh, every vertex uh, connected to the bound no 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 I start. I, I started with an arbitrary network, and growth is growth of of a growth of oops of of gamma. So we fix here. We fix we fix some gamma. Mm, uh, from now on, we fix some gamma from uh, I can say from the space of electrical networks on n. Uh, boundary vertices so space 
maybe it's good to say about the Kirchhoff, uh, the, the famous Kirchhoff uh, tree theorem. So it's it's just so this 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 is just it, more or less. <laughs> Uh, so gamma is uh, so any any fixed uh, our graph uh, from the space of electrical networks. Electrical networks on with with n bound reverse, and we fix it one and the same. So from start to the end. And then boundary vertices. And then uh, we assign to gamma uh, some 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 structures. So we construct these groves. By by the groves we construct this partition. By this partition we construct uh, the second partition. And by these uh, by by the partition we construct this boundary measurement. Of gamma. No, th then I probably don't understand the, the concept of forest because I thought uh, that you say that a forest is uh, that every each uh, vertex connected to the boundary. Uh, so for, forest is a forest is a disjoint union of trees, and so each component of a forest is a tree, and I state so I want that each this tree each uh, each connected component of this forest uh, contains uh, at least one boundary vertex mm -hmm. and that's all so for example uh, but it's so, not a restriction on, on the on the initial graph yeah yeah, yeah. so it's we sum over such groves on the graph yeah so for example i don't know this I, I can add, for instance, a, a, a vertex inside of this square and, and put some connections to, to other vertices, right? So uh, you, can, you can do... Oh, yeah, so oh, for hmm. example, this, this yellow is not a grove. So it's a, uh, it's a forest, contains all vertices, but not... So, but this tree, this connected component of a, of a grove, of a forest, uh, doesn't contain boundary vertices so this is not a growth okay mm. yeah okay uh so yes uh and if you want this this response matrix uh, again so you can compute the, the response matrix by this boundary measurements of of our um, network gamma and uh, the next uh, the next is a, a bipartite network so we have this gamma uh, and now uh, we'll obtain a bipartite network bipartite network as follows. Um, we just uh, let's take uh, let's take not very hard, uh, not very big network. Uh, and the procedure is follows. We put. Uh, and uh, vertices in each um, in each face of this uh, so yes one one uh, important um, one important note here that we have a plane uh, plane graphs and we have face here of, of this graph so and we put vertices in each face of this graph so put vertices here then uh, we black vertices here uh, then uh, we uh, call this 
all the vertices of our graph gamma as white vertices. Yes, then we uh, put here edges and uh, white vertices again. So this is a, a dual graph of, of this graph. And uh, here uh, we uh, assign one uh, more, more one more edges to the boundary and obtain a boundary vertices and here so we had we had one two three all vertices and all boundary vertices and now here we have one tilde two tilde and three tilde so now you see we have a we we had a graph with n boundary vertices and this bipartite the graph bipartite network has uh, two n boundary vertices this one to three and one tilde two tilde three tilde and uh, here we should put more edges here on this old edges between uh, old boundary vertices and uh, this new dual dual white vertices and this is this will be black one uh, so this is a so this is a general procedure which i described on this example how to obtain from the electrical network this bipartite network with two n boundary vertices with do you assign any conductivity or weight to, to uh, yes 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 uh, you're right uh, to an boundary vertices one second uh, so conductivity is so if we have here if we had here abc so we just uh, uh, leave this so this our old vert the uh, old edges a b c and we just put here as as it is a b and c and all other weights is equal to one so all all new edges and all uh, edges which is connected uh, connects to the boundary uh, have weights one so here all ones uh, so we just doubled double this old weights and assign you ones here okay uh, so two more steps and we are we are done uh, Um, so the, the the theorem so we uh, have here this boundary measurement for the our electrical network now I construct boundary measurement for this bipartite network and this boundary measurement um, they defines the embedding into the Grossmannian. So the construction is follows. Uh, one more definition. So uh, almost perfect matching. Almost perfect matching. Um, is uh, just a subset of edge such that each uh, inner uh, so each inner verti vertices uh, is in this lies uh, lie in this subset so is a 
so I, I mean, perfect matching is just a subset of edges that each uh, vertex uh, is in this subset. Uh, almost perfect matching means that uh, we need only all inner vertices to be in, in this subset of uh, edges. So the subset of edges. Uh, such that all inner vertices uh, they should not intersect moreover the edges yeah the subset of non intersecting uh are uh, in the subset and the boundary vertices uh, may be in this subset may not so um for example let's okay on this on this network um uh, so we could take i don't know something like uh, this so this this so you see if if i take this edge uh, in the um, matching then i uh, i have to take this edge because of this inner vertex uh, has to be in the subset and so i i, I have to say i have to take this edge and uh, for example i don't know this edge and and uh, this edge so this is a this is i hope a perf almost perfect matching so all inner vertices lies in it and not not all boundary vertices okay okay so uh, this is an almost perfect matching and uh, uh, so for any if we have a subset of uh, boundary vertices, if J is a subset of boundary vertices, uh, then we could define P of G, so a perfect, almost perfect match in P, and we could define p of g uh, so almost perfect matching depending on this subset of g uh, such that these vertices uh, do not lie in this uh, almost perfect matching so then p of g is such uh, matching such almost perfect matching Um, uh, uh, almost perfect matching such that vertices from J vertices from J are not in uh, P not in P uh, okay so then the boundary measurement of, of this bipartite network it's delta of j so for, for each subset again j of boundary vertices we define this boundary measurement is a sum overall uh, almost perfect matching of depending of, of this j so this p of j weight of uh, of p uh, where weight of, of of the matching is again just a product of weights of edges which are in this matching 
uh, this boundary measurement. Boundary measurement. Mm. for bipartite network. Okay, so we're done. Finally, uh, we define all stuff and the theorem of LAMP states that uh, theorem states that this delta J so this uh, boundary measurement of bipartite network, uh, they uh, 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 define the point uh, in the total non-negative Grassmannian. So delta G uh, defines. A point in totally non negative gross money and n minus one to n. Uh, and Plucker and the Plucker relation holds for these delta j's. So this, this delta j is a Plucker coordinate. Uh, in this uh, Grassmannian for, for for the electrical network gamma. So what what means this totally non-negative Grassmannian? It just means that uh, mm, all minors of uh, the corresponding matrices uh, non-negative. So, Plucker relation, Plucker relations holds for this delta J's. So, but you in, see, we, I'm sorry, in this representation, the positivity is uh, trivial because it's a uh, sum of, of positive. Uh, weights or not? Um, why sum? The sum over uh, partitions. Uh, over... No, no. We, we, have, we have minors of, of some matrices. Why, why it's obvious? Uh, but uh, uh, these are the uh, the sum over the the formula. Just. But but when when we compute the minor, we have minors there. Yeah, why it's obvious. But the one definition it, it is the sum of weights of uh, some uh, perfect matchings, isn't it? Um, Just the black for formula over the theorem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it... uh, the fact that these uh, boundary measurements are some minors. It's not evident from this point of view, but the positivity yes. is trivial. Yes, yes. If if uh -huh. a proof, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, okay, so we'll, yes, the 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 fact one, the the point one of the theorem that this delta J's uh, Plucker relations hold for this delta J's, and the point two, yes, that. Therefore, it defines the points of uh, this Grassmannian n minus one, comma to n. So, and uh, n minus one planes in two n dimensional uh, space. So, okay, uh, this was this uh, Lam embedding, and what uh, what we what we obtain here. Uh, we we present a new uh, now I'll present a new embedding which um, which at first so new embedding um, 
which at first, uh, what properties of this embedding? Um, so, which at first coincide with the LAM embedding? Yes, so, and uh, the second, it uh, also, um, so we prove that it defines the point of the negative Grassmannian. And moreover, it define a point. So the, this Grassmannian, um, uh, we, we obtain is in fact Lagrangian Grassmannian. So this, uh, our point, obtain some Lagrangian Lagrangian subspace in 2n minus 2 space. So new embedding uh, is very, very simple. So we have, we take this x, our response matrix x, x i j, uh, response matrix, So all this uh, combinatorial stuff. So I, I would say that this, I should say that this bipartite, um, bipartite network uh, is uh, due to Poisnikov and this Lam and Poisnikov construction uh, needed for us to prove that our point and this point coincides. Uh, but the definition of our embedding is very very simple so we just take this response matrix and uh, um, take the following omega it's n by 2n matrix n by 2n uh, as follows x11 minus x1 x1 etc and here we'll put one, one, and zeros. And uh, here are minus x, three, two, etc. And here um, this vector and etc. Uh, and here are minus one to the power n and uh, one, I suppose. So, for example, for if we uh, if we have a I don't know n is equal to three, then this so omega n I would say omega three it's is something like this one one zero. One zero one x x one three minus x two three x three three minus one zero one and so the rank of omega n is equal to n minus one just because of the properties of x of the response matrix and this uh, omega defines a point in in Grassmannian n minus 1 to n and we we prove that that this point coincides with, with the lam one lams one which is obtained by this combinatorial constructions uh, so Theorem one that this uh, um, omega n defines the same point of gross minus n minus two uh, as uh, one's. Uh, as in the one bearing uh, 
Yes, and uh, so about the Lagrangian Grossmannian, uh, we so let me define this subspace of dimension. So I, I, I promise that it would it, it will be Lagrangian Grossmannian in two and two n minus two space. So let's define uh, this space d v uh, as follows. It's uh, like vectors from to to n space with the following with the following conditions that sum of uh, uh, like this sum of even and sum of odd coordinates with with different signs uh, equals zero something like this so i minus one yeah is equal to zero uh, and the it's not hard to see that the rows of omega lies in this v Yes, and uh, uh, so uh, rules of omega and lines in this V mm. and uh, so in fact we in fact this is a this this omega is a is is define is a Lagrangian uh, subspace in this two n minus two in this two n two n minus two space v. So I, I could present a certain basis, a certain form, uh, which uh, defines, uh, uh, and you can just check the Lagrangian properties of for this uh, for this form in this basis. So theorem, theorem two that um, theorem two that um, so this uh, okay omega n uh, defines. Uh, Lagrangian subspace uh, in uh, this V. So we, we could uh, we could take a certain basis uh, and uh, obtain and, and take certain form, but Mm. Uh, and uh, depending on this form, it's a Lagrangian subspace. So not not this matrix omega n, but the matrix in the uh, certain basis of this space v. But nevertheless, it's just a te te technical uh, so, some technical some calculations, um, uh, but. It, it works and about about the non-negativity in our case uh, it's also interesting so about uh, totally about non-negativity non-negativity so it's mm, not theorem just about non-negativity non of this point so we here in theorem one we just prove that it's coincide with the lamb lamb's point but without uh, non-negativity here and to prove uh, non-negativity we use this uh, we use these um, notions of 
uh, electrical equivalence um, networks and the, the idea is follows so if I return to the question of Sasha about good networks in this um, class of in this equivalence class of networks um, it calls critical critical networks and critical networks uh, at some conditions for, for this for these critical networks and each each uh, the, the statement is that each electrical network electrical equivalent to the critical one um, so every electrical network uh, electrical equivalent electrical equivalent to the critical one and uh, so the critical networks critical networks means that more or less uh, if we uh, delete any edge from this network then we broke uh, the <clears throat> connectivity between some boundary vertices it's more or less this uh, condition critical network that if we delete edge uh, we, we break some con connectivity between sets different sets on, on the boundary not well, if, if we we'll break uh, so if deleting an edge breaks some some connectivity between some edges so any connectivity should should stay uh, if we delete edge uh, we broke connectivity between subsets of boundary edges does it mean that uh, uh, this uh, critical network is a is a tree uh, graph with uh, some branches uh, uh, going to the uh, to the edges? No, 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 no. no. There, there are some <coughs> conditions. There, there are some geometrical. True. There are some geometrical uh, equivalence condition that if we take. Maybe Dima, um, um, the, check the, me. If we take a medial graph, this medial graph should be lensless, and this means that absolutely uh, that so medial graph and is uh, more or less uh, this guy, more or less uh, more or less this guy. Uh, um something yeah, yeah something like this so the, there are a notion uh, uh, there are notion of medial graph and uh, this medial graph should be lensless it means that there are no um like uh, there are no su such such edges in this in this medial graph so there are there are some nice geometrical equivalent oh, condition well, for this it looks network, like if you it, take if you take a tree inside with some root somewhere living whatever you know that then and there is no any any any, any loops uh, in a tree so that, then uh, of course if you cut any branch you you cut part yeah yeah of course uh, tree is a critical yeah yeah, yeah you're right it's critical is yeah, any yeah. critical graph which is not tree can you give me example mm. I think yes. Start uh, triangle, they are critical. Uh, yeah, yeah, for example. What? But it is equivalent to three. Yes, yes. No. Ah, so you mean the example that 
is not equivalent to three. It's not equivalent to three. Uh, uh, it's not equivalent to three. Uh, but the standard graph of uh, higher order. Yes, maybe so something like this. Yes. And um, should I put here edge or not? Um, not necessary. Not necessary. So like just this guy, yes? And so if you have this guy, if you remove one uh, 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 one a line, you don't break the conductivity between two. For instance, uh, this notion of connectivity. So, uh, this notion of connectivity a bit tricky. So, if we um, if if I remove, for instance, any top or this middle, I will not, uh, you know, break the. Uh, the graph in, 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 in pieces. Mm. No, no, it's a connectivity not between two points, but two set of points. Okay, and here between two sort of set of points. Yeah. I, I will just remove in the, the, the middle part and uh, between any set of points, I will not uh, break a, con a conductivity. Mm. I, I, either I don't understand the, your definition or it's not a, so I, I didn't give a good definition because I, I didn't define this connectivity. Conductivity, I understand that talk the, the, the current can go. If uh, between subsets. Can, if, if current cannot go from one set to subset to another, then there is no conductivity. That means they are braked. The gra mm. graph is breaking pieces. So um, what if you if you number the vertices one, two, three, four? Then yeah. the conductivity between one, uh, four, and two, three will be bro broken. If what? we if we delete this guy, uh -huh. uh, this guy. Yeah. Ah, no, uh, no. For, for this, uh, uh, we should take the conductivity between between the sets one, two, and three, four. One, two. Yes. Yes. One. Two, it is a connectivity uh, by non-intersecting paths. Yeah, yeah. But 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 through the line two three it goes. But we uh, we have from one two to three four, we should have uh, non intersecting paths. Yes. So from two to three yes, but here we intersect. Yes, it's non. Yes, thank you, Dima. Thanks, Sasha. Non inter. So, of course, we would not prove here that the standard graph uh, is not equivalent to the tree. To speak the truth. Yes, that's the interesting question. Is it, uh, can, uh, is it true that uh, any uh, uh, critical graph is equivalent to a tree? No, no, no. It's not equivalent. Not equivalent. And on the second paths in between. Uh, subsets uh, elements. Uh, 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 the colleagues, three is not, is not critical. But in elements, uh, it, three is it's not dual. Uh, it's dual. It's medial dual. Is le uh, ha ha has lenses. But. But if I tree, if in a tree I remove any edge, I split graph in two pieces, and there is no conductivity from one piece to another. I suppose that the definition is uh, quite more tricky. Okay. Mm. So it's uh, a tree is not critical. But it, it so I mean it, it made. So you mean this is not critical graph? Uh, no, it's not critical. Yes, it's not critical. Oh, okay. 
Uh, so it the, the the theorem is that every uh, every electrical network electrically equivalent to the critical one, and the uh, first let's first second that every critical network could be obtained from the uh, empty network by assign a spikes and edges uh, and bridges so every uh, Buri, if i remember well uh, <clears throat> the critical uh, graph is critical if uh, a deletion or a contraction of an edge uh, breaks some uh, some connectivity mm, i'm not sure but i'm not sure but but it doesn't matter um uh, every critical network uh, can be obtained uh, from the empty network uh, by adding um, Okay, by some procedure, by adding spikes, um, bridges, bridges and lifts. So uh, I'll I'll not describe what, what it is, but so, uh, but the point is, so we like can construct every critical network from the empty one and the uh, the, the thought that electrical equivalent networks define the same point of the Grassmannian uh, the, the, the third one and the fourth one that um, this procedure this construction of adding spikes bridges and leaves uh, preserves the non-negativity property so and the, the empty empty network is non-negative non and this uh, operations of adding spikes and bridges uh, on the so it, it could be described uh, on the language of uh, points of the Grassmannian as a multiplication on some matrices and it preserves non-negativity uh, these these constructions uh, and we obtain critical networks which is non-negative and as it is electric electrically equivalent to the some fixed our fixed network then uh, it defines the same point so our um, our electrical network also non-negative so this the idea is follows uh, and uh, so the i skip all many details and you see here the definition is not not quite good here but the idea uh, is follows that uh, we could prove the non-negativity like follows uh, and uh, okay maybe uh, here in the part about the Lagrange and Grossmannian and all this stuff, um, there are some interesting uh, statements about the uh, symplectic group of of this uh, of this of two n minus two, and that that the the connection of the electrical networks. To the representation theory of, of the symplectic group, uh, which uh, I think I don't I don't want to to, to describe now, and uh, it's as as I said uh, in the beginning, this this connects it to the problem of in networks, in model and orthogonal Grassmannian, and this 
this um, a way of proving of non-negativity maybe allows us to prove uh, some uh, statement in in different so in for the different networks also and and different because the, this this plan may may works for the um, not only for the electrical networks um okay maybe i should stop here because of now it's yeah uh okay uh, that's good uh, <laughs> i have an impression that i understand the, the talk <laughs> Uh, Buri, but I, I, I thought about uh, maybe the geometric interpretation of the Lagrangian, uh, Lagrangian property here. So mm -hmm. the fact that, uh, uh, that you parameterize, parameterize the, <clears throat> uh, the set of uh, electrical networks but by the points of the Lagrangian Grassmannian, uh, is it related somehow to the integrability? Mm. No, you mean what, what integrability? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, <laughs> uh, uh, you, you, you know that uh, in the just the, in the Liouville integrable T's, um, the the common uh, level uh, set of the Hamiltonians is it, it is a Lagrangian sub uh, sub sub variety. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So maybe one one note that that I they could give here that you see that this um, this Lagrangian property is not uh, depend on all this combinatorial stuff that I described before. Mm -hmm. So we just take uh, any good matrix. It it might not be a response matrix of any network. Just uh, should be symmetry and has a sum of rows sum of element, elements in rows is equal to zero and we obtain this omega and this omega perfectly define the lagrangian subspace in two and minus two dimensional space so this lagrangian property doesn't depend on the electrical network doesn't depend this uh, so just any any network, not any symmetric, not necessary matrix. plane network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So all this uh, commentarial, interesting commentarial stuff needed to uh, prove that our embedding. Uh, I didn't say uh, any words about the proof uh, itself, but this construction needed to prove that this embedding coincides with Lama embedding. But the Lagrangian properties, property doesn't depend on, on, on this combinatorial stuff. Uh, Buri, thank you very much. It was very interesting for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If there are no other questions, we stop here and I'd like to thank all the participants. See you. Bye.